What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm joined by Tyler, and we are here today to talk about some theories for Star Wars Episode Nine. So Episode Eight is officially out. We saw it. We've had a lot to say about it, as you can maybe see if you've seen some of our past videos. And we're going to talk about what we think Episode Nine will be like. Well, what, what do we think maybe some of the elements are going to be of it? Maybe what we think the title is going to be? How do we think they're going to wrap up this final episode in this trilogy? Um, they did a lot of stuff in 8 to change our original vision of what 9 is going to be. So, Tyler, let's just start this out. What do you think the title will... What do you think are some possible candidates for the title for Episode 9? I think it's either going to be Star Wars, A Spark of Hope, um, or Star Wars, either The New Order or Star Wars New Order. Probably The New Order. And the only reason for the, the Spark of Hope title is in the opening crawl of The Force Awakens, it says The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker. And then as we know, obviously Episode Eight title is The Last Jedi. So I don't know if they did that again, where they put the title of the movie in the opening crawl, but if they did, the only one that really would be title-worthy is Spark of Hope. Also, it's the last thing that's... I think that might be the last um, thing said by any of the main characters. I believe it was Poe Dameron who says, We are the Spark of Hope. That, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I think that may be the title. Then again, it's a kind of an odd title. So I'm not sure on that one. A New Order makes more sense mainly because, you know, now we know Rey is the last Jedi. And we also know there are other people in the galaxy that do have the Force and probably will be trained by Rey. As well as, you know, Snoke is dead. Kylo Ren's taken over the First Order. He's probably going to make a New Order. So really, it's a, it's a dual... It's almost like a pun, like Rey's going to have a new order for the new Jedi Order, and Kylo Ren's going to have a new order for his whatever he wants to call it. I agree with Tyler. When I saw the opening crawl, Spark of Hope was definitely something that stood out. Um, it's one of the, it, it definitely is title worthy, I think. Um, like Tyler said, it's a little weird in how you say it, and it doesn't exactly, you know, like roll off the tongue, and it's got hope in it. And that's already, you know, episode four, A New Hope. And But hope is also just a word said a lot in Star Wars movies, all eight of them. And you could probably find examples where they say the word hope in all eight movies. So hope is a commonly used word in this universe, um, but it's already been used as a title for the movie. So I don't know if they would go with that. I, I do agree with Tyler. They, they did mention that the kind of new order, it makes sense from Kylo's point of view, it makes sense, as, it makes sense for Ray's point of view. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the movie, so I, I want to go first. I just want to talk, and maybe Tyler can talk about the specifics. My overall, what I think, and this is just what I think overall 9 is going to feel like. I feel like 9 is going to feel like 6, a lot. Episode 7 was directed by J.J. Abrams, was undoubtedly almost a new hope again. It was a new hope 2.0. Everybody's been saying that. Everybody says that, and it's, you know, it's agreed upon. It definitely is a new hope 2.0. Episode 8, is it an Empire Strikes Back? Not really. Uh, it definitely isn't the quality of Empire Strikes Back, but it, it's it's definitely not. Um, but it, it, it's somewhat. Um, and it's also, you know, by Ryan Johnson. Here's the thing. If you don't know by now, Tyler and I are very quickly, exponentially, hating the movie more and more the more we talk about it. And in my personal opinion, I would not want them... You know, when you talk about experimentation, Episode 9... What are they going to do with it? Episode 7, they copycatted Episode 4. Episode 8, they have Ryan Johnson. They didn't copycat 5. They did their own thing. And, you know, our opinion and people in the internet, it, it, there is a divide. People hate it. People absolutely hate it. They, they failed when they made their own vision. Episode 9, what do you do? Do you copycat 6? Well, J.J. Abrams is back directing it. And the only other movie J.J. Abrams did was 7, which copycatted 4. And it would make sense if, you know, it was a four copycat and six copycat and seven and nine. So what I believe is nine will feel a lot like six. It'll be a lot of the same feeling. I think it could even end in the same kind of way where Ray's goal towards the end of the movie is solely to bring Kylo Ren to the light. Kylo Ren eventually does it and in doing so destroys the First Order or something. They have to, you know, they have to work around it. There maybe would be other twists. They, they need to figure out what their central threat is, if it's Kylo killing Rey or whatever, but they have to figure that out. But overall, I think that's the kind of atmosphere we're going to get for Episode 9. So, Tyler, what do you think? 
Yeah, um, pretty similar. Now, I had, and I'm actually going to post the picture uh, in the video, because I wrote to Alex just before Alex saw Star Wars The Last Jedi on um, Thursday night opening night. I sent him a text a couple hours before because a coworker and I thought that we figured out, and I still kind of do think that we figured out the future of Star Wars, including Star Wars Episode Nine. Um, and you know, because we were talking, and we we're like, well, how you know, in the new trilogy by Ryan Johnson, they're still gonna, they can't not have either Jedi or you know, or whatever. They don't necessarily have to call that that, but now we know that they are gonna be Jedi because Rey is now the new Jedi. Um, but we were like, they still need lightsabers because lightsabers and, you know, that stuff, that's Star Wars. Like, that's what everybody knows to be Star Wars is lightsabers and and the Force and all that. So we're like, okay, how can they do it? So I was like, I wouldn't be surprised at the end of the movie. Obviously, we know middle movie, bad guys win in the end. They do. And so I said to Alex, I'm like, okay, so this is probably what's going to happen is at the end of the movie, Leia's probably going to tell Rey that she senses other you know, people, kids, people, whatever, out in the galaxy who have the force and and will be need to be trained, and and we need them to to, to defeat the first order. So I'm like, okay, so that makes sense. That now you know we have a time skip between eight, end of eight and nine. Ray maybe trains like five of them or whatever, and then Ray has like a, a group of like a little bit of Jedi, and maybe while that's happening. Kylo Ren, he gets the band back together almost. He gets the Knights of Ren back, if they're even still alive. We don't even know anything about the Knights of Ren at this point, if they're even going to be around, because they were supposed to be an eight, nowhere to be found. And so, you know, I just assumed that Kylo Ren would get his, like, Knights of Ren or whatever at five or six. I think there's six of them. And maybe he gives them lightsabers. Who knows? Um, And then it's like, okay, so this would be really cool, because now what we would have is Rey and her Jedi, her five Jedi, Kylo Ren, and hit five or six Jedi. And then we'd have Kylo Ren and his five or six uh, Knights of Ren, and they'd have this big clash. Like, that would be the final battle. That would be an epic way to end the Star Wars Skywalker saga, this big Jedi, you know, versus the dark side battle. And really, we've never gotten that in Star Wars movies, We've only gotten that in the Knights of the Old Republic CG trailer. So we could actually bring that to life. So that's my vision of what they might do in 9. Because then in future movies, and we'll talk about that in other stuff too, but in future movies they can literally say like, okay, well this person is a Jedi, and you automatically know, oh, well that means that that they are trained from the teachings of Rey. Like, so that you have a direct connection. I know it's thousands of years in the future, but you know that this these new Jedi in the, in the future is because of Rey. So, you know, direct connection. So that makes sense. It also sells toys because then you can have multiple different saber colors and new characters and this and that and spinoffs and all that. The reason I'm saying all that is because I think it is kind of sort of close to what we are going to get. Because what do we know? The kid at the end of the movie uses the Force to get the broom. So there are other people with the Force and the galaxy. Hopefully there is a time skip. Hopefully Ray does train some of them, at the, at the very least, like two or three, um, you know, and and that would be pretty sweet because really, if we think about episode nine, um, you know, spark of hope or a new order, whatever, um, or you know, or whatever it is, um, what do we know? Well, Snoke's gone. Kylo Ren's in charge. He's making all the shots. He wants to fully destroy the resistance for whatever his reason is. We really don't know why he wants to. Um, we don't know why he wants to kill his mother or Ray. Really, we don't know any of that. And the resistance, there's like 14 left. They're, they have nobody left. They call it to their allies. As of the end, nobody's responded. And they basically, the resistance all fits on the Millennium Falcon. So there's like no resistance left. So really, the only way you're going to be able to turn the tide, in my opinion, is the Force. And as Snoke said, as darkness rises, light to meet it. So if you think about it, because Kylo Ren defeated Snoke, he eliminated a dark, uh, you know, the dark, he eliminated a darkness, Kylo Ren right after that seems far more powerful because he's able to almost match Rey in the struggle of getting Anakin's lightsaber, where in the previous movie, he couldn't do that. Um, so 
Kylo Ren's almost fully dark and evil, and he's he you know he so he as darkness rises, Kylo Ren's darkness rose, and Ray's already powerful, as powerful as Kylo Ren, if not po- more powerful, uh, in other ways. So what does that mean? Because Kylo Ren's in charge now, and he's way more like hateful and stuff. He might be kind of like rash, and he'll do more destructive type things. So that means again, darkness rises. So what does that mean for the light, who's now diminished because the resistance is like fourteen people, like I said, all in the Millennium Falcon? What does that mean? The way the galaxy does balance, that means light has to rise also to meet the new darkness, the the more risen darkness. So that means there's going to be quite a few people other than Ray. The, the Force Awakens, right? Woken in Ray, Ray might be that light and that guide for the, all these other people who have been also chosen by the Force. Um, so that's how I see Episode Nine going, it, and that also gives Ray purpose because whether or not her parents are nobody or whatever, that whole thing's a total joke. Go watch our full discussion. Total joke, pissed off, whatever, royally pissed. But for Ray, like, remember, she wanted to know her place in all this. She wanted to know who she is and all that. By allowing Ray to train and guide these new people to who would become Jedi and to understand who they are, that gives Ray purpose, um, which she doesn't have. So she now knows, like, okay, well, my parents don't really matter, so I got to get over that. But then it's like, well, what's my place? Oh, this is my place. Now I'm a Jedi. And now I can help other people. That's my place. Um, so that totally ties in to you know the end of eight, which leads to basically what Alex and I said, um, where we're gonna get you know Ray and her people and Kylo Ren and his people. So yeah, that, and I, I'm honestly I'm excited for that. I just hope that they don't make as many mistakes in episode nine as they did in episode eight, because that would be truly that really that would just be. Beyond, I don't even know. There's not even words. That's, that's not even disappointing. It's something far beyond. So those are our thoughts on Star Wars Episode Nine. That's kind of what we expect to see in it. Obviously, we'll be doing these when Episode Nine, you know, gets trailers and stuff. We'll talk about it then as well. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think Episode Nine could be about. Uh, make sure you go check out our other videos of Episode Eight. We've done a review. We've done a, a full discussion, kind of where we just talk about everything. And we have quite a few more Star Wars: The Last Jedi content uh, coming as well over the next several days so we'll see you guys there